Okay, DC Vigilante here. Listen, um, this is not credit to me, okay? Check it out yourself. Uh, somebody uh, told me that the line, the Martha line, was copied from... Uh, Marvel copied that by saying, uh, Bucky. I haven't seen the scene myself, but I've told that line, that whole Martha incident was copied by these Russell brothers. I made a video earlier, did it copy? Right, and I have not seen the movie itself, Endgame, but what when I heard time travelling was involved, I thought they copied the storyline. But this is all credit to whoever sent in to Film Gub, and the reason why I'm making this is, isn't a rip off to Film Gub or anything like that, but to draw the attention. Okay, is to draw the attention to to this video, right? So please don't bother sharing mine, share his, and this is what um, he's done. Um, here we go. Right, so I'll just put it to the start. Have to be right uh, uh, so, I'm just so delighted that the truth is getting sh shown. Welcome back to Film Club, everyone. It's Shaker here. And uh, I came across this image on Facebook and then I went to Twitter and it turns out it's from a friend, Dami Edwards. We follow each other. And he posted this comparison between Batman v Superman and Avengers Endgame. Now, you all have heard about, you know, what Zack Snyder's original plans were for Justice League and he never got to film that original script and he had to rewrite his uh, film and uh, it, that was the one that was shot and that is the Snyder Cup we've been asking for. But in the meantime, you know, you've got Marvel Studios who are praised for being so original and yet, you know, you've got Captain America Civil War which had huge chunks of the film that was very similar to Batman v Superman and now you've got Avengers Endgame and specifically this final act where the battle takes place and certain events that occur afterwards shot for shot very similar to the last act of BVS so credit to Danny Edwards for finding these and we're going to go through it because I've put the shots together in video form let's check it out So there you go, straight away, we've got, you know, the shot, we've seen this in the trailer, people were talking about it when they saw it in the trailer, it's shot from behind of our three heroes, approaching the villain, and then, of course, we've got the shot of the Trinity, together. If this happened, one-off, I would be like, okay, fair enough, it's a coincidence, but this many shots, and especially the next shot that I'm going to show you, which is something I found myself, check this out. Oh look, look at that, the framing of this shot, you've got the main woman superhero, you know, restraining the villain, struggling to contain him, the choice of character we have here. We've, of course it has to be the woman superhero in Avengers Endgame because that's what it was in Batman v Superman, you had Wonder Woman, here you've got Captain Marvel, of course who else would it be? Similar framing, similar shot. I can't believe it. Let's move on. Here's a uh, Superman on the left. He's going to sacrifice himself to save the world. And what do we have in Avengers Endgame? Of course, Tony Stark. He suddenly realizes that there's a world outside of himself. So he, yeah, he clicks, you know. Oh, oh by the way, spoilers, everyone, for Avengers Endgame, if you haven't seen it. Quite similar, a hero sacrificing himself. You can see the shot of, uh, you know, his chest, Superman's chest. Then you've got Avengers Endgame, a shot of his chest. Pans nicely to his face. Oh, Russo Brothers, you, you, you know, you, you guys really need to be a bit more original. You know, so you, you guys are getting praised for the, the cinematic language of Avengers Endgame. Oh my god, it's jaw-dropping. Well, you, you seem to be ripping off uh, Zack Snyder quite a bit. Let's move on. Ah, yes. Emotional. Got Lois Lane kissing uh, Clark Kent, crying. And in Avengers Endgame, you've got Pepper Potts. She had to be there. 
because that's what Batman v Superman did. Lois Lane was there. So we need Pepper Potts in this shot. Uh, as the remaining heroes look on, Batman and Wonder Woman, Avengers Endgame, of course, we need the uh, original heroes there as well. Captain America, Thor. They're th they're the ones who need to be looking on. They have to be right next to each other in this frame. Look at this. <laughs> if you seek his monument, look around you. And the best the Russo brothers could come up with, or the writers of the Avengers Endgame, uh, proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Lame. Um, I'm not sure how much they got paid for writing that, but that sucks. So you've got the funeral. And you've got the obviously in the Batman Superman. You've got the shot of. Uh, the Metropolis and Gotham citizens paying their respect and then Avengers Endgame you've got the rest of the heroes and characters uh, paying their respect to Tony Stark. Bruce Wayne he's kind of looking on something's coming something's more to come Nick Fury in Avengers Endgame looking on he's, he's back he's been unsnapped and he's, he's going to get back to work now maybe creating a new Avengers team. Oh my, oh look, look at that, look, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> of uh, Bruce and Diana looking on, obviously they're looking at uh, Lois Lane, and in the Avengers Endgame you've got, again, two characters kind of looking on, a little moment they're sharing, private moment, of course. So this is where it's kind of reversed, you know, we've got a, got Diana speaking to Bruce and then in the other shot you've got Clint speaking to um, whatever her name is, Scarlet Witch, and uh, then it flips. Here you go. They both have feelings, yeah, like Bruce Wayne says he, he has a feeling and uh, just like uh, uh, Scarlet Witch he's like, oh yeah, I have a feeling as well that uh, everything is fine. So it's kind of flipped. It's by similar. Oh my god, listen, that, that's my reason. That That is my reason straight there. That is, oh, that I don't know about you, but that, that angers me to, to the tilt. And people came out and said BBS was shit or whatever. Hello, Russell Brothers doesn't have uh, an inkling uh, of brain to come up with something original. And these people are coming out of that. There's loads of people coming out of the cinema not getting this. Seriously. Seriously. Listen, I'll put a link to, to Film Gub, okay? Share that one. You don't need to share, share this one, okay? This is, this is just me. There's, there's a link to my, my original idea and, and, and Film Gub himself. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, that, this gives me more reason to, to carry on really disliking Marvel or the Russell or the, the brothers or whatever or anything that they stand for people need to wake up get out of your, your soapbox of Marvel and start seeing what real creative individual ideas is right and uh, how the fact that Zach and Chris Terrell came up with something original and unlike Marvel, who constantly co copies DC, this is your legacy, Marvel. After BVS and Civil War, Russell Brothers has done it again. And don't tell me they, they started their, their whole idea since the first Avengers. No, scripts got changed all the way through the 10 years. You were keeping an eye on DC. That's my truth. DC Vigilante out.